Hi everybody, Jiggy Time Gal. Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a tutorial on making a UV resin dream catcher. It's a uh, little small, not that big. There's feathers that go with it. Um, this is UV resin. It is not the resin that you mix parts A and B together and it cures. Uh, this is the one you put under the light, the UV lamp, and it cures that way. Um, we're going to be working with some colorants, some uh, pigment colorants, and some uh, uh, liquid colorant um, to tint the resin for color. And um, we're going to um, make a pretty dream catcher, and we're going to put it all together. So, um, so with that. We will put you down on the desktop and we'll get going. Okay, here we go. We have the um, mold, which is a little dream catcher here. has the little tags on the bottom that you attach your feathers to. We have two feather molds here. Um, we have the resin. Um, I get my resin on Amazon. Um, I think it's $19.99 for two bottles. Um, we have the um, mixing cups if we need them. I get the mixing cups off of TU, $1.58 for 100. We have some mixing spoons in case we need them. And we have the colorant over here. I get the colorant. I got the colorant off of Wish, I believe. I can't remember how much it was. I think it was like $12, 15 bucks. We have our UV lamp over here. UV lamp I got off of uh, Amazon, I believe. I think it was 20, 30 bucks for the lamp. I'm not sure how much it was for sure. Got us some uh, uh, wet ones to clean for cleanup. And we're going to get started. First thing you need to decide is what color you want to make your dream catcher. So, I think I'm going to make my dream catcher purple. So, for purple, we have amethyst. No, I think I'm going to make it rainbow color. I'll make it rainbow color. I'll make it more interesting. So, you can do this in different ways. You can mix your cups with your resin and then pour them in. You can fill it up with clear and put drops in and then mix it with a toothpick inside. Or you can put, mix it in your cup and pour it in little by little and then just kind of mix as you go. What I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to put the, the resin in and then I'm going to put a drop and just swirl it and kind of let it mix together, sort of, but not totally so that it's, it's a mass of color. So we'll start, we'll start with the feathers to get the idea. So I'm going to put this clear resin in the cavity of the feathers, making sure I get it all in every little space, all the way to the edges, getting all of it in there like it's supposed to be up to the top. Because the colorant's not going to take up much room at all. So you want to make sure all your little areas are completely covered with resin. You can get around the tip really good around the little notch that is there that has um, the notch is where you want the strength of your piece to be because that's what's going to have the hole 
that you attach to your dream catcher. So you want it to be completely around so that there's not a gap or a bubble or anything because then it won't be completely enclosed and you won't be able to hang it. So you want to make sure that you got resin all the way around that little nut, that little nub. And you want to make sure you got it all the way around the edges of the feather so you don't have any air bubbles and you don't have any gaps and everything's filled in. And it's all the way up to the top. It's all filled in. Let me make sure you got that all. Now, I usually don't, but you can go over and take a flame from a lighter or, or something and braze over it to make sure all the air bubbles are off your, your thing. But I usually don't do that, and I don't have much problem with it. You're going to need some toothpicks. Okay, now we're going to start. And you want to start with your lightest color first. So here's yellow. And you want to give it a good shake. You want to start at one end and put just a drop. You want to drag it. Take your toothpick and drag your color into your piece. Drag your color a little bit. Okay, so there's the yellow. You just want to place tiny little drops next to your yellow. Just tiny little drops. Get you another toothpick and then drag. Drag your yellow, your orange. Drag it up into your yellow a little bit. Not too far. Now 
Make sure you're leaving room for the other colors. Do the red. Drag the collar. It'll go where you want it to. Okay, now we do blue and green. And finally blue.
Okay, now we'll put these over here to cure. Okay, there we go. Sorry, I didn't talk much during that, but I was concentrating on the on the feathers. Got those in there, and we're going to cure them. Now we're going to work on the dream catcher part. We're going to do basically the same way we did the, the feathers. So we're going to fill this all up. Pay mind around all the detail areas. Especially around these little prong parts. Make sure we get them really good. Try not to get any UV resin in these little pockets, these little holes, because you're just going to waste it. That's not part of the design. So make sure you get it in between every little crevice, because if you miss something, your dream catcher is going to be broken. So make sure you get it in all the little cracks and crevices. Don't miss any. Get it in everywhere. Double, trickle, ch triple, double check, quadruple check. Don't miss any of it. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with the color. I'm going to start with the lightest color first. And we're going to go from the top down in a rainbow color. So the top parts are going to get yellows. Just going to put dots of yellow. And we're going to go to orange, then red, then green, then blue. And then we're going to put purple in this too. We didn't have room for purple before.
feathers out and let's put this big picture in here. Oh, these are still sticky. These need to go in longer. I think we use too much, too much, uh, too much color. Not enough resin. That's a definite problem. You use too much resin and not enough color. Oh, too much color and not enough resin. It won't cure properly if you use too much color and not enough resin. So we'll just have to check and see if it's going to work or not. You may have to cure it a very, very long time. Okay, these are extremely soft. I think we just use way too much colorant. And they're not curing properly. But we're going to give it a go and see what's going to happen here. And as you can see, there is still resin in the molds. But is wiping out of the molds. The molds are coming clean. And be forceful with your molds to clean them. They're silicone. They're they're gonna come back into shape. <laughs> they're silicone. <laughs> Excuse me, I got the hiccups. They're gonna come back into shape. So be forceful when you clean out your molds. And you can always go wash them with, with warm soapy water if you need to. But see, they, they came clean. Oh, this one's such a mess. They're very wet and tacky and, and sticky and I do hope that that one mold's going to come out okay because it's got such an intricate design. It's got such fine little lines. I hope it comes out okay. See, it, it came out okay. It's fine. I think we just used way too much colorant. The colorant dilutes the um, resin and then it won't cure properly. So maybe I should use the pigment, the pe pigment powders and mixed it in the little cups. I don't know. You live and learn people. I think the feathers turned out pretty though. They did turn out kind of dark. Yeah, see it's still to me by it's pliable. It's very pliable. It's not supposed to be. It turned out kind of black on the end instead of green and blue. Let's see, see, I'm getting it all over my hands. I'm getting it all over my hands. It's still wet. It's very wet. Hmm. We'll have to. I don't know. I think I'm going to mix I'm going to mix some colors with this and see if that turns out better all right what do we have we had um we had yellow we have yellow, orange, red, blue, and green.
I'll go to paint. That's right. We're going to mix these. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Scoot over here, get away from the white. Do, 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 do. We're mixing up the resin. Mixing up the resin. We're mixing up the resin. <laughs> do, 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 do. You always want to mix up your resin if you've got the light running. Mix the resin up away from the light. So it doesn't cure on you. Okay. Let's get these little feathers over here. Put the yellow in. Oh, you know, I put the yellow on the wrong side.
Okay, now the red. Do 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 do. I think this might work out better than the other one. And blue. Yeah, they're curing. Finally. I'm still kind of sticky. I'm still getting resin on my hands. Alright, let's put these in and see how they do. See how this is doing. Oh, this is sticky, sticky. This is not very well. I'm getting resin all over my hands. Um, let's see. Put this on this upside down and put it in the cure upside down. I don't get it on my mouse pad. I might have enough to get this green catcher done with this other pigment powders if I'm lucky. Those kits are really the way to go if you're looking for multiple different little things to put in your resin things. You get the little kits and they got a little bit of this and a little bit of that in there for like under 20 bucks. Really the way to go. You get all kinds of little things. Alright, let's give these a mix up.
Green is red. There she is. Let's check these ones we did before. They're pretty soft, but as long as they're curing, that's all that really matters. Oh, they're super soft. The middle didn't. Yeah, it did not middle come out, I guess. Let's take that back in there to finish curing. Yeah, this didn't cure long enough. There's resin in the mold. Resin in the mold. I need to cure. And we'll put that one upside down when it cure longer. See, there's there's resin in the mold. It didn't cure long enough. Uh, I turned that other one upside down and let it mold or let it cure longer. It came completely clean though. All right, let's see what this is up to. It's a lot stiffer than what it was. A lot stiffer than what it was. Oh yeah, much better. coming. Slow but sure. There. It came. The slight bit tacky, but not too bad. Okay. Let's stick it back in there to here. This one now. Start with yellow.
Clean this one out. Do it squeaky clean. Check these out. Oh yeah. Still a little tacky, but Still kind of tacky, but it turned out right. Mm -hmm. We have those four feathers. All right, let's check on these and see how they're cooking. Mm -hmm. A little sticky. A little sticky yet. This is nice. This one's pretty good. This one's very pliable. Very pliable. I was just here to take this one out. Very pliable though. These little holes haven't poked out yet. I have to poke them out myself. Has a lot of, I guess you would call it flash. Oh my. Inside pieces here. That's definitely got to go back in that sticky as heck. Well, you noticed right away between these two is that the ones are glossy. Let me 
it doesn't really pick it up on camera too well. But the ones we did with the liquid are glossy, and the ones we did with the pigment powder are more matte. Are more matte. If you're worried about um, sharp edges, you can always take a fingernail file and file down the edges so they're not so um, pointy or sharp if you're worried about edges. But this is what we have so far. Here's the other one we did. And here's the first one we did. The one side is more matte and the one side's glossy. But here's here's ones we did side by side. This is the first one we did, and this is the second one we did. This is with the uh the um liquid and this is with the powder. So, now, yeah. I think they turned out nice. Thanks so much for stopping by. Uh, so, thanks a lot for stopping by and seeing my video. Y'all have a great one. Catch you on the flip side.